We're going to start off with this first debate, natural versus relaxed hair, because I have seen some pretty intense debates on social media, on my Instagram page, on other people's Instagram page. So let's try and settle that debate. So the first thing I will say is that there really is this ideal appearance for natural hair that people have in their minds and this ideal appearance for relaxed hair. You know, a lot of women go into being natural and they're like, oh, I can't wait to wear my beautifully nourished fro. Um, it's going to be so amazing or my twist out. And women who prefer their hair straight, they're going to say it's going to be so sleek and so shiny and I just can't wait, right? That's the ideal. But I'll tell you what I see in my clinic. It's one of these two images. And these are not my patients. These are images that I pulled from the World Wide Web. But this is very characteristic of what I see. I either see women on the left who are relaxed and kind of have those thin, very damaged strands. Maybe they're transitioning, right? So some of their hair is very tightly curled. The rest is very natural. But either way, they're not really happy with the overall look of their hair. Or I have women on the right who may have suffered from breakage due to relaxers. Maybe they were the woman on the left, right? And then they go natural and they don't understand why their hair won't grow. And someone like this may say, you know what? At least when I was relaxed, I could get my hair past my shoulders. Obviously that's not the metric that we're looking for. Even if you get, get your hair past your shoulders and if it's damaged, that's not the outcome, right? That we're looking for. So again, ideal versus reality. The truth is you can have healthy hair that's natural or relaxed and you can have unhealthy hair that is natural or relaxed. And so really what it boils down to are honestly your personal preferences because a lot of the things that we're gonna do to achieve healthy hair are gonna be the same whether you're relaxed or you're natural, okay? So let's break down chemical relaxers. I really want you guys to get a deeper understanding of how chemical relaxers work. Even if you're someone who's used them from when you were a kid, um, you may not understand exactly how they work. And so this is an example of what chemical relaxers do. Someone who has you know, completely natural hair can go completely straight with a chemical relaxer. It is a permanent treatment. And so what is a relaxer? Well, there was a time when we felt like a majority of black women had at least experienced the use of a chemical relaxer at least once. I would venture to guess that most of the people who are watching today aren't necessarily relaxed. Most of them are women who are natural. It is certainly becoming less popular over time. But basically what a chemical relaxer does is it is a cream 